all right guys welcome to today's tutorial in this tutorial i want to show you how to calculate the ects from the credit units you acquired during your bachelor's or your first degree however before then i need to explain some fundamentals which are very essential so first you need to know that your one year of studies equals to 60 ECTS credits and when you have a three years bachelor's program that will give you 180 ECTS credits while a four years bachelor's program is equivalent to 240 ECTS credits and a five years bachelor's program will give you is 300 ECTS credits so this is why in most cases I always tell people that if you attend a four years bachelor's program or a five years bachelor's program you are going to most likely be above the 180 ECTS credits required for most Erasmus Mundus scholarship and one last thing that you need to know is that one ECTS equals to 30 study hours this is very essential especially when you have to calculate the ECTS per course and not by year. So I will quickly show you an example of what I mean by this. So I have prepared this table just to illustrate my points and to make everything more clear to you. And here in this example, I want to calculate Mr. Ogeding B Chukudi Yahaya's ECTS from his five years bachelor's degree program. Mr. Ogidingbe graduated from the Federal University of Technology, Mina, in Nigeria as an electrical engineering student and during his first during his five years program, he did 30 courses which are of two unit credits and he did 40 courses which are of three credits units. So what we need to do is to multiply the number of credit units by the number of courses. So you see 2 times 30, which will give us 60, and then 40 times 3, which will give us 120. Also, during his five years program, he did a project which was six credit units. So then we had all this together, we have 186, and this 186 using the rule of thumb we can multiply it by 1.5 to have 279 ects credits so you see that if you attend a five years program uh, in nigerian universities especially for those who attend the federal university of technologies uh, definitely you are going to be above the 180 ects credits required by most erasmus mundus uh, programs however there are situations in which the university want to know how many ECTS you have in a particular subject because uh, most of the time the ECTS, the ECTS you accumulated from your bachelor's degree may not necessarily be in the required field as most people know that <laughs> some of most of the programs we did back then in uh, during the undergraduate are not even related to uh, to the field of study like you just do a lot of courses here and there probably a lot of courses here and there just to make up the cts or to make up the cgpa so some of them are not directly related to your field of study thanks to the how the nigerian university system is designed uh, so because of this uh, when you're applying to european universities they want to know how many of your ects actually contribute to the field of study or are we actually acquired in the field of study and not let's say you are studying uh, maybe chemical engineering and then you are doing uh, let's say maybe some kind of education courses something like this that are not that are not related to the field so they want to know how many of your ects are really specific to the field of study and to do this we can say the ects in a particular subject uh, will give us the number of hours spent in lecture per week then you plus the hours spent on self-study per week 
then you multiply it by the number of weeks in a semester. Why the number of hours spent per week can easily be calculated from your strength handbook, and the number of hours spent in self-study per week is a bit flexible uh, because it is expected that you spend more hours on your self-study than the one you spent in the lecture hall. However, for us not to inflate the number of hours, I will go with the same number of hours spent in lecture to be the same number of hours I spend in my self-study per week or for my self-study per week. Then, so, of course, we know that a two-credit unit courses are uh, is three hours of lecture per week and the three credit unit courses are four hours of lecture per week. Then mostly a semester is usually between three to four months. So that would be 16 weeks. Four times four will give us 16 weeks in total. Or if the month, if the semester is a, a three month semester, then that would be 12. You can always refer to your departmental art book to know more, uh, for more info about the credit, uh, the credit units and the number of hours a week and of course including the number of semesters or the number of months that make uh, a semester so in this example uh, also we want to calculate uh, how many ECTS uh, Mr. Gedingby acquired in NJ525 so NJ525 is a two unit course uh, with three hours of lectures per week and of course, like I said earlier, the number of the number of hours for self-study can also be the same as the number of hours per lecture. Then uh, it's a four-month semester, which makes it 16 weeks in total. Then we can say this three times 16 will give us 48. If you do the same thing here, you get 48. Then we can add the two together. Then we have 96 study hours for Mr. Gideon B in engine five to five. But don't forget, I said it earlier that one ECTS equals to 30 hours of study. Thus, we can say uh, this 36 divided by 30 will give us 3.2 ECTS credits. So, for engine 5 to 5, uh, Mr. Gringi has accumulated 3.2 ECTS credits. I hope this is much, much clearer now. And of course, if you are still having doubts, here is a website, the German Grade Calculator, which can also easily help you with the conversion of uh, your CGPA into the European Credit Transfer System uh, easily. So let's head there and let's see how it's been done. So here is the uh, website, it says the ECTS Calculator. And we can use Mr. Okiling Bay's engine 5 to 5 as an example to see what we are going to get. So the number of hours spent in lecture per week is 3. The number of hours spent in self-study per week is 3. The numbers of weeks in a semester is 16, uh, which makes it a four-month semester. And at the end of the day, we have 3.2. So in engine 5 to 5 again, uh, Mr. Green Bay has acquired 3.2 ECTS in this particular subject. I will share the link to this website in the description below. You can easily check. Now, I hope I've been able to answer your questions about how to convert your CGP into ECTS. Of course, if you have any question, uh, let me know in the comment section. And if you enjoyed this video, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel and let's grow together. Thank you. See you in the next video.